What's up guys, Big Bad Wolf here. Today I have a topic that I think is gonna be very useful to a lot of you guys. Uh, it's gonna be my tips uh, for Shooter Born in Heaven and ways that I find success with the task. Um, I know a lot of people find this task very grindy. Um, it, it can be tough sometimes. Uh, I know that's not everyone. I know there's, there's people out there that can complete it in a few hours. Um, and if that's you, then that's awesome. Um, but like I said, I think the majority of people do struggle with this task once they start focusing on it. Um, so I just kind of want to go over some tips that'll make this task a little lighter, uh, a little less stressful, um, and, and set you up better for when you like getting towards Kappa. Um, so again, I've got the list right here. We're going to run through these tips. Uh, before we do, if you don't mind, please like and subscribe to the channel. Your support um, is why we do these videos, and it is greatly appreciated. So I would really appreciate it if you guys, if you haven't done so already, please hit both those. Um, so okay, let's jump into these. Uh, so the first thing that I want to say is when you're doing this task and you're focusing on this task, okay, run some minimal loot. I, I really don't recommend running these high-end uh, expensive kits, all right, because if you're dying a lot, um, it's it's going to be better for you to run more raids than like <clears throat> a few higher geared raids. You really don't need the gear. I mean, you're, you're, you're trying to get kills that are 100 meters out, so you really shouldn't be in one-on-one -on -one gunfights like that often you should really be shooting out at them um so when i run these raids all i do 90 percent of the time i'm running an sv98 it's a cheap sniper easily kittable you don't have to do a whole lot to it um and i run one backup mag and in my gamma i run my healing and a stack of ammo in my sick case that is it okay outside of that you really don't need anything else a face covering we're going to get more into face coverings but i definitely recommend wearing that you don't need a rig you don't need a backpack um those are really the main things that i run i don't even run armor unless i find one on a scav or i get it in a scav raid and it's some cheap armor then maybe i'll run it but generally i don't um so again keeping your keeping your loadout minimal is going to help you it's going to it's going to keep you from going broke as quick if you're if you're struggling with this task a little bit so i definitely recommend it running lower gear sets. Um, the next tip, and really this should have been the first tip, is that I recommend getting this task early, okay? Because you really don't need to focus on this task in the beginning. Um, the, the task is is an early task for mechanic. You can get it pretty quick. Um, so when at the beginning of wipe, I really recommend getting this task to this task quickly. That way you can start working on it passively, all right? It's not one that you really have to dedicate all your time to. Uh, you really can just just kind of accept the task and then run all your other and try to do all your other quests um, and, and complete it on the side because then you'll run into random opportunities where there's people sitting uh, 100 meters away and you just you're, you're able to get the kill on them uh, and that's going to make it seem less grindy all right because then by the time you actually have to focus on it if you haven't completed it already uh, you won't have to to screw around with all of the headshots you might have you know you might have a few of them already out of the way so i definitely recommend getting it early the next thing i recommend is not completing the task until you get to sniper level five all right that might sound odd uh, but in in my case i'm actually i was one headshot off of completing the task and i intentionally did not get that kill um because i wasn't level five sniper um and or sniper skill and here's why all right so Psycho Sniper, which is one of the final tasks for Peacekeeper, um, it requires you to get, I think it's, it's Peacekeeper or Mechanic, I think it's Peacekeeper, requires you to get level 9 Sniper skill, okay? That's a high level for the Sniper skill, so you want to get these early levels out of the way, it's going to be a lot easier for you to tackle these early levels um, than it will be for you to grind out from 8 to 9, or some, some high level like that. You're going to have to do a lot more to level that up. So take these freebies, um, and you get one freebie from Shooter Born in Heaven. So if you get up to level 5, then complete Shooter Born in Heaven, that'll push you to level 6, and then you can, can complete Mentor, which gives you three sniper uh, skills, level ups, um, and that'll put you at level 9. So it'll be a lot less grindy if you, if you get up to level 5 first. Uh, and then complete the task. And an easy way to get your sniper level up is, of course, run snipers. Um, I recommend, even beforehand, running snipers anyway when you're doing Shooter Born in Heaven if you're focusing on it. Uh, a lot of people say they have success with like an M4 or something like that, slapping a scope on it. They think it's easier because you can get repeated shots, low recoil. Um, I, I definitely see it there. If that works for you, 
cool. Um, I, I really recommend using a sniper though. In my case, I find it a lot easier to have that when you have that muzzle velocity. Um, it, it you don't have to lead your targets as much. You don't have to adjust for the arc as much. Um, so I definitely find that more useful to run a sniper. And you can passively upgrade your sniper skill. So like I said, I recommend running a sniper. If you if you find yourself like I am where you're only a couple headshots away and you're not to level five yet on your sniper skill, a really easy way to level that up is to hop into, this is literally what I did, hop into a factory raid with a sniper. I used a Mosin. I brought a bunch of ammo. Yeah, you go off into like a secluded area and you just sit there and you reload it over and over and over and over and over again. Um, that'll level up your sniper skill. It's I know it's kind of a not scummy way, but it's it's like boosting basically. Um, if you guys remember the Modern Warfare Two boosting days, um, but yeah, it, it's not you know it's not the most exciting thing to do, but it's an easy way to rank it up. Um, so definitely, if if you find yourself almost done with shooter born in heaven and you want to get to level five that's an easy way to do it um and then like i said yeah definitely get that level five it's going to make it easier for you in the end you'll be able to get psycho sniper a lot easier um because you'll get those free levels <clears throat> another thing is to wear face coverings okay i definitely recommend wearing face coverings your goal when you're doing this task is going to be to stay as far away from the action as you can you got to be 100 meters out when you're getting these kills so you really you don't want to be in it um so you want to kind of stay you, you take the, as much attention off of you as you can you want to stay camouflaged and a face covering is going to do that okay if you see players running around if you see pistol runners hatchlings um and they they don't have face coverings on you can pick that out your, your face is white as a stinking ghost in this game uh so it's really easy to see um, I like running the schmog, the green schmog, I, I think is the best one to run. It's green, so it's going to blend in with a lot more. Um, but really, any of them are going to be are useful and better than running bare face. So uh, I definitely recommend doing that. Uh, another thing is to go with the flow of the raids, okay? Uh, if you're in a raid and, you know, you have your main points that you're going to look for. You know, if you're on shoreline, you got the resort, you've got the power plant, um, you know, the the... The gas station at the bottom of the hill by power plant where the scavs spawn um, near the pier. Those are going to be your hot areas. Um, but sometimes fights break out in areas that are like there's no main point. And they just it happen to be two squads that ran into each other on a hill somewhere um, or in an open field. And if that's the case and they're near you, adjust. Go over to that area. Scope it out. Those are going to be opportunities for you, especially on a map like Shoreline. It's going to be really hard. You're going to have – the map is so big. Um, and most people go to the resort and it's hard to get a vantage point on the resort. So you're going to have to take these opportunities and adjust with them. So definitely go with the flow of the raid. Uh, and kind of leading off of that is if you're in a raid for too long and, and you feel like, you know, 25 minutes has passed, you haven't seen a single player, you don't even know where anyone's at. Um, I found it best to just extract and reset, Okay. Uh, if, if you do that, it's going to kind of, you, you don't run the risk of getting ganged up on by player scavs and nothing is more frustrating than when you dome a guy hundred meters out and it turns out to be a player scav. So, uh, the later you are in the raid, the more players are going to be dead, the less opportunities you're going to have. Um, so like I said, if you get to this point where you really don't know where anyone's at, you haven't seen anybody, I think it's easier to just extract, uh, cause really your, your gold mine is going to be right out of the gate, right at spawn. That's when I've gotten the majority of my headshots for this quest, okay? Is if you know the spawns, uh, again, we'll go back to Shoreline for an example. If you spawn in uh, and you know where the other spawns are, most of them are already 100 meters apart. So if you can set up and you can look in the direction of the other spawns, those are going to be easy kills off the bat because those people aren't in the positions. Nine times out of ten, they're not where they want to be, so they're going to be running towards whatever point, uh, Shoreline, they're going to be running towards the resort. Um so you can catch them doing this, and those are going to be opportunities for you. So I definitely recommend when you're in the spawn, get to know the other spawns. It's going to help you a lot. Um, next thing, keep an eye on your energy and hydration. This is going to sound silly, but it's easy to forget about when you're running these raids back to back to back. Um, and the last thing you want to do is load into a raid and find out you're at zero hydration or zero energy, and now you have to go into a hot spot area to try to find food. Um, so that's definitely something to keep an eye on. Don't forget about that. All right, so my last big tip, and this one's a big one, is to run a suppressor, okay? I know suppressors can get expensive, 
Um, I, I know that, you know, it, it's kind of counterintuitive to running the, the lower kit. Um, but I, I highly, highly recommend you run a suppressor and here's why. Okay. A suppressor is going to give you the ability to take repeated shots at players without them being able to pinpoint your location. All right. A lot of times if you miss with a suppressor, you're going to be so far out that they're going to think it's just a stray bullet. Sometimes they don't even realize that you're shooting at them. So they're going to stay put right where they are. Um, and just, ex you know, not, not expect another shot to come at them. So a suppressor is going to help you. It's going to help you stay hidden. You'll be able to keep your spot without having to move because your sniper's so loud. Um, and it'll also allow you to take these follow-up shots. So like I said, I really do recommend it. I know, like I said, in some cases they can be expensive. If you're running it on the SV98, it's like 35K for the suppressor. The mount for the suppressor is like 4K, um, which really isn't that bad. Um, but if you insure your sniper, um, you'll, you'll often get the sniper back. Sometimes you'll get the suppressor back too, cause not everyone takes those off there. Um, so definitely, definitely recommend running a suppressor. Like I said, I, I, there's, there's a lot of tips for this task. I, I really do think the easiest way is to get it early and to just do it passively while you're completing the other quests. I think if you focus on this quest early, it's just going to be too you're going to be dedicating too much time to it and you kind of run into an opportunity cost situation where now you're you're falling behind on your other tasks because you're focusing on shooter born in heaven um, and really you can get this one done while you're doing other tasks so like i said get this one early get it out of the way um later on if you have to focus on it to get your last few um, that's the ideal way to handle that um, get to level five before you complete it that'll push you to level six and then you can use mentor which will finish you up to uh which will push you up to level uh, nine sniper skill um, which like again is what you need for psycho snipers and and if you guys have additional pointers that you would like to throw out there please drop those down in the comment section uh, like i said my goal here is to help people who are struggling with this task um, and to give you some tips that might help you be more successful uh, i have another video that i'm going to be posting that's going to show my top spots for shooter born in heaven on each map uh, so if, if you're struggling to find some spots or you only know the basic spots uh, I definitely recommend checking that out because there is some spots that I use that I don't think are, are hot spots. There's a couple that I do that are hot, you know, that, that everyone really knows about. But but a few of them are new spots that I think you guys might not know of, um, and that can be really useful to you. I really do recommend trying to use some of these oddball spots because those are going to be where I find uh, or where I think you'll find the most success. It's going to be in the spots that aren't your, your big, well-known sniper areas because everyone knows Dome. Everyone knows the rock front on reserve. <clears throat> And if you're going there, you set yourself up to be a target for other people doing this task. Um, and those are kind of the spots that I talk about uh, in that video is I'm going to go over just how to get these easy shooter born in heaven kills. So definitely recommend checking that out. I'm going to put the link in the description. Other than that, guys, until next time.